Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the flip side, and I just wanted to make a quick announcement video about the sort of close, or not close, but uh, near future of this channel. It's nothing major, just a quick announcement of a let's play sometime, like around June, hopefully June, if not July. And in case you couldn't tell, the game is Mother 4, which I've been looking forward to forever. For those of you who don't know, it's a fan-made game that was created by a group of really awesome people. And they're aiming for June, late June, and if not by then, it'll be coming out in July. That's at least what everyone's saying right now. It'll get pushed back maybe, but who knows. Anyways, I signed up for early access of the game a few months ago. So I'll be notified as soon as the early access builds are, like, uh, released... And I will be one of the first people on YouTube to Let's Play it. And that is a promise, it's a guarantee. You will be seeing a Mother 4 Let's Play sometime in the very near future, I guarantee it. Now, we don't know much about the game yet, it, but one of the few things we do know is that we there will only be one returning character. Just one. Have you guessed who it is? Well, it's not really one, it's more like a group. Da da ba da boing. Well, sometimes that does have an impression. Boing, do you like it? Dakota. Yep, Mr. Saturn is coming back for Mother 4, thank God. It wouldn't be much of a Mother game without Mr. Saturn's unless it's Mother 1, because there were no Mr. Saturn's in that game. But, yeah, the game is going to be free, and uh, it's completely like, uh, you can do whatever you want with it on YouTube. It's not going to be uh, copyrighted or any of that stuff. Nothing's going to be copyright infringing. They're, get, they're encouraging people to make Let's Plays, reviews, whatever they want about it. Be, like, it's really cool that they're doing this, and you can bet a million bucks I'm going to be one of the first people, if not the first people person to let's play the game and it's gonna be really awesome I'm looking forward to it and there is one other mini announcement really quick oh uh, I'm sure you like this SCP foundation logo here let's see first off there is a pretty decent chance that at SGDQ 2015 this man by the name of Aurelix will be running Earthbound. There's a chance, not guaranteed anything yet. Really hoping for it though, because I've seen his work. It's going to be awesome. But anyways, now for the actual announcement. Let me head on to Regalis' website, Undertow Games. And believe it or not, this has nothing to do with SCP Containment Breach. I ignore this and ignore this, because there's nothing SCP Containment Breach related here. For those of you who were unaware, Regalis is making a new game called Subsurface. Now, let's see if I can find Alright, I've been turning this game concept idea over my head for maybe a year and a half. And now that SCP 1.0 was out, I started putting more focus on it. Somehow the fans of SCP might be disappointed to hear there won't be a horror game. And... It'll have some tense moments, though. And even though you're disappointed over the fact that it'll be a 2D game, I hope you'll be able to enjoy it nevertheless, even if it will be something very different from Containment Breach. Now, Regalis has been working on this game for a very long time. We're still not... He's not even sure when it'll coming out, if it'll be soon or a little, a little while. But the game, in my opinion, looks really interesting. I can't wait to play it. And this one, I can guarantee you that I will be the first to, to make a Let's Play video of it. Uh, whatever time it comes out, I will buy it, download it immediately, and it's it's not a free game. And it's going to be up on YouTube ASAP. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I, I don't know why I'd be up at 2 o'clock in the morning, but if it is, I mean, that will be 6 a.m. for Regalis, considering he's like four years in the future with flying cars and stuff. But I will be the first person to play Subsurface on YouTube, and that is a promise. So Mother 4, Subsurface, and 
if I ever find a way to record uh, a Game Boy Advance, a little something extra for you. But that probably won't be for a while, because I have no idea how to record DS Lite footage or Game Boy Advance footage, so. But anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to make this video really quick to tell you guys about this. Oh, before I end this, uh, some of you remember that I actually made a theory video on Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which is obviously outdated, uh, a complete boring to watch, an hour and 20 minutes. I just recorded it. It was a... Uh, and it's outdated, it's inaccurate, it's the whole package. I'm going to be keeping it up, but within a month or so, maybe two months, expect an updated version on it, including, obviously, Five Minutes at Freddy's 3. And sometime in the a bit closer future, maybe like a few weeks from now, two or three weeks, I'll actually be uploading another theory video, which has nothing to do with... Well, you see, I've really been wanting to make a Let's Play of Metroid Fusion, I've even gotten the best ending. I really love that game. I'm playing it a lot. So, one of these days I want to, but as of now, again, I have no way of recording Game Boy Advance or DS Lite footage. And I have it on the Wii Virtual Console, but I have no way of recording anything on my Wii U either. All I have now is this free, stupid OBS thing. But, so I can only upload games from the computer. And of course, Mega Man Unlimited is coming soon. But I plan on recording Metroid Fusion videos someday. But before that day comes, a few weeks from now, there will be a, a theory video on Metroid. Not Metroid Fusion in particular, but there will be a Metroid theory. Because I freaking love Metroid. And I guess when that day comes, I really hope you enjoy it. And don't worry, it'll be scripted this time, and it'll be under... I'll try to keep it under 20-25 minutes as best as I can. But anyways, with that being said, I will see you on the flip side.